think of it as a metaphor that the universe is a computer, but in fact it's not a metaphor, it's a scientific and mathematical fact that the universe is a computer. Computation in the universe is not just what's going on inside our digital electronic computers, it's what's happening in every atom, every molecule, every electron, every elementary particle. They register information, they're processing information, and their interactions support this kind of universal computation. So when I say the universe is a giant computer, I'm just actually simply stating a fact, right? I, and it's funny because like people give me a hard time for this. It's like, oh, surely it's a metaphor. It's actually no. It's scientifically and mathematically it is a computer. So it's not a metaphor. What my book does and what we've been talking about now is to explore the implications of the fact that the universe really is a computer in the scientific and mathematical sense of the word. Some implications are, hey, you know, we have free will, <laughs> right? And, and we can understand it in terms of information processing. A very important implication is that of the fact that the universe is a computer is that it provides an answer to a very important question, which human beings have struggled with for thousands of years. That question is, you know, why is the universe so interesting and complex? Why is it so rich? Right, so why we look out the window and we see, you know, plants, animals, and human beings, and well, we see computers, we see cars, we see society, you know, we see, when we look up in the sky, we see stars and other galaxies where presumably interesting things are going on as well, right? You know, the universe is very complex. And yet the underlying laws of nature are very simple. So how, that, how, how the heck did that happen? Who ordered that? Once you realize that the universe is a computer, then you can ask, oh, well, since it is a computer, is, under what circumstances do computers actually generate complex behavior from simple rules? Well, this again has a straightforward mathematical answer. And the answer is, they almost always do this.